Hi, this is Ann McWilliams Prino from Youth Services. My favorite book that I read in 2020 was Lightfall, The Girl in the Galadrian. I fell in love with this graphic novel for its gorgeous art, its thrilling story, and its uh, wonderful humor. And uh, this is a graphic novel that both uh, kids and adults will love. Hi. The best series I read this year was Crimson Lake by Candace Fox. It's a dark mystery thriller trilogy set in the tropical rainforests of Queensland, Australia. It follows a disgraced cop who teams up with a convicted murderer as they solve crimes and try to avoid being eaten by crocodiles. I highly recommend the audio version, the narrator's really good. It's Crimson Lake, Redemption Point, and the last book of the trilogy, Gone by Midnight. Thanks. I'm Mike Compagna, Digital Services Manager at the Library, and I love listening to On Earth or Briefly Gorgeous by Ocean Vuong. This book in many ways is devastating, dealing with issues of war, families torn apart, mental illness, and abuse. But that's in contrast to the beautiful language used and storytelling of the author, and it was enough to make it my 2020 best book. Hi, I'm Vicki and I work in our library's operations department and one of the books or the series really that I wound up loving a lot this year was um, anything related to Miss Marvel by Agatha Christie. You can get them all on Hoopla either in ebook form or you can listen to them on audio and I just really loved it. This is one of the later ones in the series Nemesis and it's just fantastic, well written, well executed and just kind of a treat to be able to escape to a land so far away um, from all the stress and the rough news that we had this year and all the sacrifices we had to make away from our families and, and friends. Um, it was nice to have a friend in Miss Marple. Hi, I'm Youth Services Librarian Allison. I read a lot of kids books all year round, but my favorite book that I read in 2020 was a book for grown-ups called The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin, recommended to me by Librarian Liz, beautifully written speculative fiction with lots to say about our current world. Check it out. Hi, I'm Karen McBride from the Public Information Department, and one of the books I really enjoyed reading over the last year was Me and Sister Bobby. It was co-written by legendary American artist Willie Nelson and his sister Bobby Nelson, who is an accomplished musician in her own right and a longtime member of Willie's band. Like all great country music, this book is full of heartbreak and tragedy, but also a lot of joy, a lot of hilarity, and a lot of just plain craziness. Um, and it all gets pulled together in the end with a great message of how faith and family and unconditional love can get us through life's most challenging times.